What's happening there, everybody? You are right now chefing with Trill. I had another video that was gonna help, but shit happens. And today, but it's anything else. Today we got black bean burgers, one of my favorite meals to make now that I'm vegetarian, slash vegan, all that beautiful stuff. I'm gonna go into the store. <clears throat> your story as to why I'm all of that. For right now, here's what I got. Show y'all how we came into this situation. All right. Man, cameras are just not getting them on. All right. Anyway, so I cooked the beans. Let me show y'all the seasonings that I use for the beans. Sea salt. Always use a healthier choice. If you know the healthier choice, do that shit. If you know better, do that. Pink Himalayan salt mixed with herb. Herb, excuse me. <laughs> Country nigga shit. This is goat. Seasoned salt. Never go wrong. Garlic powder. Red pepper for that kick <coughs> that you gonna need. You know what I'm saying? And I always cook with grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is a goat. Great in vitamin E, good for your hair. I use it for my locks, all that beautiful stuff. You know what I mean? And pretty much get your beans. I cook them for about 15, 20 minutes. Get them right and you mix it. You put the beans in a bowl and you get bread. Red onion, green bell pepper. I chop these up individually into small pieces and tear the bread up, of course, and put it into a bread processor. Have it chop it up, maybe three to four pieces. I had to use four because my pieces were a little sloppy. And you come into this substance here. This is everything all put together. You get one egg, crack the egg, and the egg is gonna help have everything stick and mold. That's gonna help you form the patty that you're gonna need. And I'm gonna make a patty over here just for an example because my camera is doing the most on this phone. But it's all good. Cause when there's a will, there's a way. And my will is strong and I'm gonna find a way for that shit. All right. <laughs> Always get your everything mashed up together to make the patty as best as possible. Substance. Boom. That is going to be two small patties, but it's all good. What you're going to do is form your patty. Form the patty as best as possible. Flatten it, bring everything in together. You see how this one's messed up and it's all deformed? I'm just going to push everything down. Make that form circle. Boom. And when you're done doing that, you pretty much come over to here. And it's gonna be cooking like this. Now, these guys have been off for a while now. And, mm, that looks so beautiful. It's almost, almost time. I'm gonna throw that one back on a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This guy, he's a little bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah, these guys are about ready. Had them go on for a few more minutes. And that's pretty much it. But I initially changed how I was eating because I was like, okay, I'm done with the pork. Yes, Dr. Mix is one of my favorites. No, I'm not a Muslim, but I understand what they 
I understand a lot of different religions and why they do certain things that they do and see things how they see it, but that's a whole nother story. We're going to get onto that. I promise we will. But he, um, I initially cut off pork in 2016, like March 2016. And three or four months in, I was realized that I ain't had no burger or no beef either. So I was like, okay. Well, I'm gonna just be pesco pollo then. But I know I, I've I had the hankering for burgers because I always use I've always loved burgers. So I was like, um, dang, bro, I'm gonna have to figure something out. And I found a place in Birmingham, downtown Birmingham, Muya. Had a black bean burger, almost changed my life. That av avocado, um. They had an avocado paste on it and all that. It was great. And I was and I tried another black bean burger somewhere else. And I was like, uh, okay, yeah, this is the wave and I need to learn how to do this. So the homie was like, and shout out to my nigga Mike. That's the realest person that I know almost on, on earth outside of myself. <laughs> but um, he was like, dang, bro, you just gonna have to do it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, bet, looked it up. And here I am now. This is my third or fourth time making them. And I've made videos before, but everything just didn't make it right. But right now, this is the best opportunity. And these guys, I do believe, are... Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh! You know? Dose. Yeah, I'm gonna cook to eat now. But yeah, um, March 2016, cut off pork and beef. And earlier this year, well not earlier, a couple months ago, I say July, the ending of July, I, I put my girl on watching What the Health before I even watched it. And she watched it, she was like, oh, okay. I was like, okay. She was like, watch it, you need to watch it. I'm gonna watch it. About a week, almost I think a week later. He ain't even watched it yet, huh? I was like, nah, man. Well, I finally watched it and I was like, shoot, I'm good. I don't, I'm not, I'm the person that it don't take that much to convince him. Or I'm the one that put one to two. Oh, oh, that's what it is? All right, good, I'm good, bro. I don't need no more explanation. I'm, I'm strong up here and I can do anything because I know that whatever is going to be good for me is best for me, you know what I'm saying? And there's so many things that was in the movie and that I know that's what's going on in society and the world now. And I was just like, should we just do better? You know better now. So you truly know better now. Do better and I have and I've been doing it ever since people are like bro I don't know how you do it but more power to you and I I got the power for y'all you know what I'm saying and I'm gonna give y'all examples if you want to do it if you don't but it's just what it is and um I'm gonna walk in the light best way I can you know what I'm saying and uh this is the like I said this is the the outcome I'm gonna make a five burger Buy a burger. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna just keep them over there for right now. Hmm. Nah. I'm gonna have the ingredients below. Excuse me. Romaine lettuce. No iceberg. No. Tomatoes. Mm hmm. And, uh,. That's pretty much all I'm gonna use on my burger. I'm gonna probably use barbecue sauce and ketchup to mix it up, you know what I'm saying? I do not like using bread, regular bread that much because I know it's not the healthiest and the greatest and I don't have pita at the time, but hey, gotta make it do what it do. It's all about working with what you got and doing better no better do better and work with what you got and <laughs> it's all gonna pay off eventually you know what i'm saying the results of me having been vegetarian now is i truly don't have any aches i wake I've been, i'm on an enlightenment journey you know what i'm saying i wake up happy and great and 
thanking God even more and even in a better sense of mind now. Um, uh, the aches that I did have, because I really haven't really ever had that many, gone. My water intake is way more, even though I thought I was drinking more water, I was drinking way more water than I thought I was doing. Squat. <laughs> um, what else? Everything is just more clear. You know what I'm saying? And clarity is the key and the goal and everything. And that's what it is. If y'all have any questions, hit them in the comments below. Hit my email, one trilldave at gmail.com. Uh, it's a higher thing. I got these shoes for Sizzling. Fly knit higher pathfinders. Eighty-five dollars, ten percent go to towards helping the youth in the Montgomery and Birmingham areas to help lead to a healthier lifestyle. I've worked for the YMCA and the Boys and Girls Clubs, and I just see where there can be improvements. I'm not gonna throw no shade because I can throw, <laughs> I can throw a whole, I can throw darkness at a lot of that stuff, but. I figured not to throw shade, just to show light and give best for the kids, cause Trill love the kids and Trill and the kids love me back, and I feel like that's the best thing to do. But it's Trill Dave, Trill Theory Fitness, higher, strive, G O A D S, geniuses of African descent. That's what G O A D S is, and uh, y'all stay Trill. Be blessed.